There is Senator Lindsey Graham, Charles Grassley, calling for an investigation into that British spy. Here is what was said just the other day. I want a special counsel to look at not only how Mr. Steele conducted himself, what the FBI did with the dossier, whether Mr. Orr, whose wife worked for Fusion GPS alongside Mr. Steele, what involvement did he have in the dossier? And I want to find out if the lead investigator of the Clinton email investigation had a political bias against Trump for Clinton to the point that it was a sham investigation. Mm. He said a lot. Judge Anna Napolitano, Fox News Senior Judicial Analyst, back from his small break, short break. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Happy well. New Year to you. To, Do we to need to well. investigate Christopher Steele? Start there. Well, uh, Senator uh, Grassley makes a very good argument, and, and we can't really evaluate the argument because some of the information that has come to him has come in a secret capacity. So he says he has seen things which are at odds with what the FBI says C Christopher Steele told them. So that would mean in his mind, and we haven't seen what he has seen, and he can't share it with us, but he can share it with the FBI, that Steele lied to the FBI. If so, this would be the same crime that General Flynn has been indicted for. If you read the statute carefully, it says lying to the FBI such that it interferes with the FBI's work. So if the FBI knows you're lying to them and it doesn't interfere with your work, is that a crime? Did the FBI know he was lying at the time he said whatever he said that Senator Grassley says is a lie? The other uh, tape from uh, Senator Graham, I agree these things should be investigated. Did the FBI carefully investigate Mrs. Clinton or was the fix in mm. from the beginning. But I do not believe we need a special counsel. The special counsel rule exists for when there is a conflict between the attorney general and something happening in the Justice Department so that he, the attorney general, cannot manage it and you need an outside manager like Bob Mueller to manage it. The reason we have a special counsel for Russia is because Jeff Sessions, when he was Senator Sessions, played a leadership role in the campaign. He can't manage the investigation of the campaign when he's probably going to be a witness. But he can certainly manage the investigation of what the FBI did and didn't do when they were investigating well, Mrs. Clinton. Okay, I need a flow chart. I'll slow you down you just a moment. Do, yeah. You are arguing then is that we don't need an investigation to investigate our government. No, I am saying we don't need a special counsel, another Bob Mueller, independent that's of the that, DOJ. That, that, that's what I'm arguing here. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing, apples to apples. If you're going to, if you're going to argue that you do not, you have not met the threshold, correct, by which you should be able to appoint a special counsel. Correct on that. You disagree with meaning that. Meaning the the Justice Department and the FBI have assets to investigate other aspects of the Justice Department and the FBI without a special counsel. These special counsels are dangerous, as Manafort has argued. They often get out on a tangent and indict people for things that have nothing to do with what their charge okay. is. Now, let me get to Manafort in a moment. Just one more question on this. If, if, if you're a Republican, right, and you're sitting in these hearings and you're getting all this evidence about text message, et cetera, right. don't you think something smells and should be should be looked at yes so, so that you and i and everybody else yes. republicans yes. and democrats and the, alike and the, have the trust in their government. the reason correct that's the exact reason bill because there must not only be justice there must be the appearance of justice in what the fbi and the doj does look the fbi agents are not choir boys if they were the bank robbers and terrorists and mobsters would roll over them you don't want them to be choir boys. They have strong opinions. But if those political opinions are so strong that they interfere with their job, they should not be on that case. Mm -hmm. All right. Paul Manafort's filed a civil complaint, right, against um, the case against him, the Department of Justice. Does he have a case? In my opinion, no. And in my opinion, he has exacerbated his legal problems by doing that. If exacerbated. Made them worse. If you think that uh, the prosecutor who's prosecuting you lacks the jurisdiction, the legal authority to prosecute you. You bring that to the judge before whom your case is assigned. You do not try and drag another judge in on a civil case so that you can interrogate the prosecutor. That's the wrong can I take the other way side of this? wrong time to so do So Paul it. Manafort's attorney is going to say, look, you're operating outside the legal definition of what a special counsel is all about. You're investigating stuff that is not relevant to Russia collusion, et cetera, et cetera. And you just said what a special counsel often does so you, is they go into areas that are right. that, that where they should not. You make that argument 
to the judge in your case. You do not ask another judge to interfere with what's going on in your judge's courtroom. It just doesn't happen. So could Manafort get a satisfactory answer based on the case against him now under the law? The civil case that he's filed or the criminal? No, the civil case will be dismissed. That's how frivolous it is. It should have been a motion to dismiss the indictment in front of the criminal uh, judge. She is in charge of all matters Manafort. Well, do you think Manafort's in trouble here? Ultimately? Yes. Yes. I think that the special prosecutor believes that Paul Manafort has information about the president of the United States. And he has indicted Manafort for essentially money laundering in the hopes that Manafort will say, uncle, Here's what I know about uh, the president. Go easy on me. That's Bob Mueller's theory. Whether it's accurate or not, only time will tell. Thank you, Judge. You're welcome. You're fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy, Smitty. I mean, put him in. Always.